Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Melissa. I am a Pisces, um, also known as Green Knight Phoenix Goddess here on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook as well. So guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much. I think you'll find that as a Pisces with a lot of different placements in my chart, I love to do all kinds of different things, but anything, again, pertaining to my channel will always be linked down below. Feel free to book with me if something resonates, if you like my energy, if my energy vibes with yours, please feel free to book. I always have different specials going on, so please make sure you follow on all kinds of media platforms. That way you don't miss out on anything. Um, again, these are always very general, guys, so don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. It helps me out. And yeah, with all that being said, you guys, again, know how much I love and appreciate you. I hope that these resonate with you guys. And Let's get right into the videos. I love you guys. Mwah. Perfect. Okay. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. So I'm going to do a pick a pile. I usually have, I usually do a lot of these. I've always loved to do these, but um, I only do them like once a month now, you know, just to kind of just check in. And, you know, there's so many different energies all the time from everybody that Sometimes a pick a pile is kind of nice because it can kind of get to a lot of different energies all at the same time. So I like to do them. I like to do them at least once monthly. So this is your monthly pick a pile. I figure it's almost, that's it. You know, we're here to the midway mark of the month. So might as well do a pick a pile. So the three piles that we're going to do is we're going to do the Jade Stone, which you guys know I've done before. It's, um, you know, to like attract money, abundance, things of that nature. Um, I'm doing black tourmaline as well. It wards against kind of like the negative energy, evil energy, stuff like that. So I figured that one was super important because I've been feeling hella negative energy. And then I have the Libyan uh, desert glass as well. And this is really good for major transformations, like in one's life. Um, it helps you do it smoothly. Um, but yeah, so those are the three that we have. So I like to do the pick a pile and shuffle along right with you guys because I feel like a lot of people like to see that. So I need something up here. This is very bland for now, I don't know. All right, so for all of my collective who are watching now and all of my collective who will be watching later, to those who are drawn to the Jade Crystal, what angel message do we have for them? For those who will be drawn to the Black Tourmaline, thank you. And for the Libyan Hectite glass. Thank you. All right, so I'll start stacking them over here because I have like a whole stack. It's hilarious. So I have, I think I chose seven different decks. So overall, I'll get the overall energy. All right, so let's see. For pile number one for Jade, thank you. No. Pile number one, those who are drawn to the Jade Crystal, thank you. Those who are drawn to the Black Tourmaline. Oh, you know what, guys? I have been in such pain all day. I am not even, like, I literally, ugh, I've been in pain all day. And I, it hurts to sit, but, like, I just needed to come and do a pick up for you guys because I felt everybody's energy. And I, it just, when I focus on others, it also helps me to not focus on my pain. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's like, everybody wins, man. I'm telling you, even though I've been in such pain all day, oh, my God, it's been like, ugh. All right, and those who are drawn to the Libyan Tektite, please. What message do we have for those who will be drawn to the Libyan Tektite? If you guys hear my son, I'm so sorry. He got his phone today. He got a brand new phone, first time ever. Yes, I was that mom to hold out. I think I held out for as long as I possibly could, according to what's going on with the times. And not that I am a mom that allows myself to be peer pressured because I'm not <laughs> like I legit literally fought for like my son when I felt like people were trying to say like, oh, but this person's doing and I'm like, I don't give a gosh darn what the hell anybody else is doing. I'm like, I'm a trailblazer. I set the tone. I'm like, and I want my son to do the same. I'm like, I do not want him to be a follower doing things like I if people should do things their own way. And that's it. So. I finally grew with the times a bit, even though I still think he's a little bit young, but he's a boy as well. And he's definitely got an older mindset. So yeah, so he's excited. He got his phone. It's like his first, first phone. He's used little phones, hand-me-downs and things like that. But this is his first official 
phone where it is like his phone his own number all that stuff so he's pretty excited and honestly so am i i'm excited for him i remember what it's like to get my you know I, I never got a phone when i was younger i had to get my own very first phone by myself so the fact that you know parents can provide that for their kids and things like it's always about growing and trying to expand your generation right it's always about trying to do better because your parents want to see you do better just like you want to see your kids do better it's just the same way that it goes right so let's see for those who are drawn to the jade crystal thank you for those who are drawn to the black tourmaline for those who are drawn to the libyan tech type thank you i love my monology deck it has so much freaking energy on this deck it's ridiculous i love it oh my god guys Oh, bless you guys who are watching this right now. Honestly, I want to thank you guys for your energy because I actually feel so much better as I'm doing this pick a pile. Like my leg, I don't even feel it right now. Maybe it's numb as hell or it's numb AF, but I legit don't feel the pain. The pain is numbed right now. So whoever has, whoever is watching this and is actually wishing me well, I thank you because you actually made me feel better. All right, what self-care card for those who are drawn to the Jade Crystal? What self-care card for those who are drawn to the Jade Crystal? What self-care card? Also, guys, this self-care deck, I recommend to anybody, whether you read tarot or not, because um, I think a lot of people fail to realize that Oracle cards, it's not, you don't have to just, you know, you don't have to be like a tarot reader or anything like that to purchase like Oracle cards or tarot or anything like that. You guys could actually shuffle for yourselves and see and say, well, what kind of self-care should I be doing today? Like call upon your own energy and you guys could do it. But this self-care deck is so beautiful. Like the images are just, oh my gosh, it's just so beautiful. I remember I seen it on a video. And it was one of the people that didn't answer what the deck was. And so I had to investigate, but I found it. And I actually, because I did the light work, I actually got it at a very good price. I got a discount on it. So I was even fucking happier, if you could believe it. I was like, oh my God, what a steal. I was like, it makes it even better. I was so excited. Let's see. Nope. Sorry, guys. Sometimes I always take all the ones that come out when I'm doing like an actual reading. But when I'm trying to do a pick a pile, I have to always kind of restructure my energy to focus on just the one. Okay. I'm going to take, you know what? I'm not even going to talk shit. I'm just going to take them. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, no, I'm going to take them because they wanted me to take them. I'm like, fuck yeah, I'm going to take them. That's it. I'm not even going to go against it. I'm, I'm, I'm good. That's it. Let's do it. All right. A luck card for those who are drawn to the Jade Crystal, please. All right, please let the message resonate for those who concentrate and are drawn to the crystals with the piles for the messages that they need to hear. Please protect everybody as they are going within to try to pick a crystal keep everybody protected and safe and give them the intuition and the guidance to choose the right pile for them with the messages that they need at this time for those who are drawn to black tourmaline let me get a love message please thank you and for those who are drawn to the libyan tectite thank you Wow, this pile over here has got some, and I was saying that, anyway, let's not even get into it right now. Let me just finish up. Because that right there has got so much fucking energy right now. Those work down to the G. I'm just taking them. I don't, I'm just, they're all apparently like not going to let me do one. So that's fine. For those who are drawn to the black tourmaline, messages that they need to hear. Thank you. Like that. And those who are drawn to the Libyan check tight. I 
I know a lot of you guys probably think like, I wonder if she concentrates and she picks a pile. I don't. <laughs> I don't. I never participate because I just can't. It's for me. I, it's not, I meant to help and guide and, and all that good stuff or whatever. It's like not, my gift is just not meant for me. That's all. It's not meant for me to use it for myself. I just use law of attraction a lot and I use my energy to attract what I want and things of that nature. But as far as like my actual gifts, I, those are for everybody else. That's not for me. It's, it's something I was blessed with. I was gifted with it to help and heal. And it's just not for me. So usually I don't know. I'll concentrate and like the crystals, but I'm concentrating so badly on the energy for you guys that I don't even worry about my fucking energy as far as choosing. You know what I mean? All right, what crystal would be beneficial for those who pick and are drawn to the jade pile? What crystal could be beneficial for pile number one at this time? What crystal can be beneficial? I have certain decks that are so like this deck is very long right so like in my hand and i already have like inflammation that's going very poorly in my hands and so shuffling it's so it hurts sometimes crystal could be beneficial hold on That was the one. Yep, because that was the one that stood out to me. All right, what about those who are drawn to the black tourmaline? Thank you. And those who are drawn to the Libyan? What well, crystal would be beneficial? Oh, thank you. Major fucking transformation, I feel right there. It's crazy. Well, not transformation, but itself. But it's just like there's a lot of energy coming from that. I feel like a lot of you are going to choose that for some reason. There's like a lot of energy going towards that when it's crazy. Okay, so what I want you guys to do, I'm actually going to do the singing bowl for this. I haven't done my singing bowl in quite a while, but I love to do it before pickup piles. It helps you kind of clear your mind. It'll help you get a real clear answer as to really what you're being drawn to. Okay, so just reminder, um, pile number one, the jade. Okay, pile number two is going to be the black tourmaline. And pile number three is, excuse me, the Libyan tech type, okay? So I want you guys to close your eyes. I want you to just really visualize yourself in a very open space with a lot of grass, just very calm and very grounded. If you wanna picture yourself with like your feet in the dirt and things of that nature and kind of just picture yourself being grounded almost like within, like roots pulling you down, like just so you could really ground yourself, you could do that, that's fine. But just get like a good, nice, nature type of image in your head and then close your eyes breathe in breathe out and we're gonna get started So before you guys pick, like, honestly, there's a lot of confusion going on. There's a lot of confusion. I'm sensing a lot of confusion from a lot of people. So hopefully this will give you guys some, some clarity because I'm sensing a lot of confusion from um, a lot of the different piles here. Like there's just confusion overall. It's almost like you're not, a lot of people are not even really sure what they're drawn to. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's crazy. It's hilarious. It's really a lot of confusion. All right. So let's jump right into it guys so for those of you who chose the jade let's see overall what we got going on here because there's like a lot of i'm just gonna lay them all out and see what we got okay so this pile right here I'm getting a lot of earthy vibes. So I'm not sure if a lot of earth signs chose this pile or not, but I'm getting very earthy. Um, 
you guys definitely have some grounding to do for sure, right? It says, I center and ground myself despite emotional upset around me and then focusing. I focus my logical mind to make smart, effective business decisions, okay? There is abundance coming here. I'm getting and picking up that a lot of you guys are um, not like sure whether or not you'll, you know, leave a legacy, whether or not you'll make like enough money, you know, to last and things of that nature, but you will. You are gonna be able to leave a legacy, but you have to let go of that fear that you won't be able to do that, right? There's also a need for you guys to do some research. And why I say research is because some of you are have been thinking about something or you're trying to manifest something, right? You're trying to manifest how to make money, but like making the money work for you, right? You have to read. There's a lot of you that um, need to do a little bit of research and do some fact checking. And when I mean fact checking, it could be if you're trying to hire somebody or um, you're thinking about expanding business or there's contracts and things of that nature. It's an, it's an energy of making sure that you read everything through, right? Dot your I's, cross your T's, but also just making sure that you fact check stuff, all right? You have to fact check stuff before you jump and do things, all right? Now, I, like I was saying with you with the Ace of Pentacles, so this is, it's, it's money. It's abundance, prosperity, planning, right? Look it, along with the Ace of Pentacles, you guys got the abundance for love as well, right? So there's good stuff coming here. There's definitely new things coming in. Um, you guys definitely it's almost like if you're running out of mojo you know like you're trying to constantly figure things out and you're constantly on the go 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 that it's almost like you feel like you're getting burnt out somewhat right now your guys's angel message right because this is abundance the angel message that's attached to this for you guys is that there's a surge of energy with this ace as money and financial offers come your way these may take the form of a new career job or client or other opportunities that will bring future security such as planned investments the card often comes up in readings to show a successful job interview, being offered a mortgage or rent approval for a new home or starting up a new business or creative venture. However, the ace occurs for you, you are blessed with money and support, okay? Now, the crystal card that I pulled for you guys, for you guys to be able to kind of refocus, right, so that you can still keep this abundance coming in is Peridot. And look at it, it says magnetize your motivation. So if you need to snap a picture of this, I'll hold it up because I don't want to get into reading it for too long. But it's kind of like anybody that's kind of like dreading kind of like getting something done or whatever the case. You know what I mean? Like it'll give you like mojo back, right? It's something good for being successful, which that's what you guys obviously in this pile need. Yes, because you want to focus on getting more successful, keeping the abundance coming in. Okay, so um, success is paired with that that'll help you bring in success okay so that's what i have for you guys over here in pile number one and just know that you and your loved ones are protected as well this pile right here you guys definitely have this protection barrier around you and so you can let go of that worry of like always worrying like if somebody walks out the door like i know with the world that we live in it's hard to like not worry right but you also have to not live your life in worry as well does that make sense like you can't just be scared all the time like you know you have to leave your house right at some point so just keep that in mind guys all right for those of you who chose the black tourmaline let's see what do i got for you guys wow there's a lot of grounding that needs to happen here for sure yeah okay so this pile right here you guys are definitely becoming more spiritual that's funny that you chose whoever chose the black tourmaline you it's completely hilarious because this is definitely the power for those of you who are trying to gain more vision you're trying to um think outside the box you want to really gain and go towards right like leaving a legacy going towards financial dependence right there is a little bit of a, a energy of being a little bit like low confidence you know but they're trying to remind you here, like, no, like, there's nothing to feel like that about. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, the more that you guys go in, the more that you ground, the more that you meditate and really think about things before you jump and take actions, right? Like, when you're focusing, being aware, basically, like it says right here, look, awareness, okay? Being aware. When I focus on positive energy, I'm aware that I attract more of it, okay? Some of you here, because this is not going to resonate for everybody, but some of you here have a connection with somebody that is faded. It's definitely like something that's meant to be. But again, there's a lot of grounding that needs to be done here, connecting with earth. If you're trying to be more spiritual, you have to put in spiritual practices, right? 
It's just like if you want to get better at something, you want to, you know, get a skill, like practice a skill and get better at it. You got to practice, right? Same thing with spirituality. If you really want to focus and do the work to try to manifest and bring things into your life or whatever, you do have to do some work. There is some legwork to be done. There's some emotional work to be done, like all that stuff. It's It takes a lot of work, okay? Now, a lot of you are trying to come into this new perspective of the spirituality. Like a lot of you are new at this. A lot of you are just realizing like, oh my God, like really like this, you know, these things are resonating with me. Like, it's like, oh my God, like I do have to make a change. Like you're definitely coming in to the fact that you want to change and do something better. Okay. That's definitely like legit with this one. For you guys, the crystal that they're saying is kyanite to deepen, look at deepen your perspective. Like how awesome is that? So snap a picture. Okay. Now, when it's too much going on in your head, like when there's too many things, too many ideas, like I said, you know, trying to figure this out, like as far as spirituality, whatever the case, this is what you need. It'll help you deepen your perspective. It'll help you block out the mental noise. Um, it'll help you align. It'll help you be more calm, cool, collected, okay? So that's what I have for you guys in pile number two. Oh my gosh, the last one, pile number three. Let's see what we got. Yep, there is major transformation coming for this freaking pile. Holy crap. There is a lot. Wow, I see what's happening here. Okay. Yep. Okay, so whoever chose this pile right here, you guys just really became some bad bitches and bosses or whatever. Take the energy as it resonates. But this pile right here, and it's so funny that you guys chose this because that is a stone that can absolutely transform you. It can make you, it brings everything to the surface that you need to deal with in order to get rid of all your blockages, in order to bring in all the wealth and abundance. That's legit, okay? Now, it says I'm flexible and adaptable to change while I pursue my ambitions. This is definitely for you guys in this pile because you guys are very, you're adapting to the changes that are coming because you know that even if it has to be bad or good or whatever, you'll, it'll get you to where you need to go. So you guys are very much understanding that. You're looking at the bigger picture. You definitely are. You're looking at the bigger picture. You know and recognize, okay, that you're special. It's almost like you're coming into your own, right? You will have success, guys. You will. You will have success. There's a lot of you, again, like I said, coming into the spirituality, you're finally realizing you're, you're rising up. You're leveling up, right? Grounding is super important during this time right now. And your creativity, creativity making plans making an effort to try to create your life like this right here this is what you people are doing like you guys are not playing because you guys are realizing too you want to be loved like you're setting boundaries with people you're trying to be funny and, and and you know what i'm saying like look at that setting boundaries right making sure boundaries stick so people respect right and then also being able to be free and lovey-dovey like that you know what i mean I love it for this pile. Oh my God, this is such a good energy. Like, I love it. And then look, get drunk on your highest self, Amethyst. <laughs> I love it. So this is really good for um, starting to live with purpose, right? Finding your purpose, finally setting boundaries, right? Reaching new levels of different things, right? That's why I look at that. That's how they popped up extra stuff for this particular pile because there's a lot of you that are really going through different things. You're creating, you're being very um, visual, trying to create, like I said, you're trying to create the life that you want. I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Oh my God, I love it. Okay. Um, Do I have my little, I think I do. Let me get an overall mindful message for this pick a pile video. Let me get an overall mindful message that we can end for this pick a pile video overall mindful message for the collective for this pick a pile overall mindful message thank you all is okay all that i feel is okay i hold myself in love through the unsureness the worry doubt anger, fear, anxiety, rejection, or overwhelm. I am thankful to feel the full range of emotions that I do. These emotions are the very contrast that leads to my higher expansion. 
I love it. That's really the intention that I did when I was doing this pick a pile. Like I want it for everybody to try to be growing and really rise above everything. So I'm excited. I love this for you guys. Um, yeah, I hope that this resonated. I hope it helped. I hope it was helpful. Um, yeah, actually, hold on. I think I just remembered something. Yes, hold on. So for pile number two, before we go, guys, hold on. Because for pile number two, so vision, perseverance, reward, and investment. So sevens in the tarot are cards of potential, and the seven of pentacles reveals potential for success and a tangible reward for your efforts. The work and time you're investing may be testing you, but this is a worthwhile job, business, or creative path in projects. This seven can represent a research phase or groundwork. You may doubt your ideas at times, but don't give up because your work has great potential to bring you the benefits you hope for. All the effort will be worthwhile. Vision. Remember how I was saying that, right? Being aware and kind of like coming into your own, right? As far as that stuff. Okay. And then lastly, for this last pile, you guys got the six of wands. So let's get your angel message for that. Victory, progress, self-confidence. One of the most positive cards of the minor arcana, this, this six reveals visible success. You win and deserve the accolades, support, and confidence that this victory brings. Others acknowledge your achievements and you can hold your head high. This gives you the validation that you have been waiting for. It often comes up to predict great marks in examinations and tests, the positive outcome of a court case, success in work and personal projects and charity events. All right. So that was kind of like the little secret little angel messages on those cards as well. I didn't want to forget to do it for the other two piles. Love you guys so much. I hope this resonates. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.